What's up, y'all? I just got back from going trick-or-treating with my mini-me. We had an awesome time. She, she is so amazing. And, you know, one thing that I am... Well, this is kind of like... Let me turn on my TV. It's kind of like a... Um, a life lesson that you learn throughout your life but and sometimes it can be hard because nobody's perfect but one thing that God's really helping me with is staying positive when like if you're around negative people or Things just aren't working out as you had planned, whether it's with your career, with finances, just with anything. One thing that, that God is, is helping me with is to, is to stay positive. Because I'm a real positive person. Um, and at the, end of, at the end of the day, And, and I have to give this to God. Ever since I rededicated my life, and that was back in 2003, you know, I'm not perfect. Who is? <laughs> but there's an inner peace that I have that never goes away, and it's a beautiful feeling. Um, it's pretty awesome. And... It's just really unexplainable. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, I'm just learning that when it comes to certain people, they'll never change. And that's okay, I guess. So, you just... You just so, you know, some people are always just going to be negative or find the negative in every everyday life. Um, hold on, my cigarette went out. And another thing is, you know, it's real funny because the people, the majority of people that cast stones on other individuals are usually ones with the most secrets. And ain't that funny. <laughs> so, uh, I know I'm moving on to this, and I was just talking about that, but, you know, I, I've, I've just, and I've, I've learned that also along the way in my life. You know, pe people are so quick to cast a stone on somebody who's smoking a cigarette, having a drink. Um, maybe they say a cuss word. Um, you know, anything. People are so quick to cast a stone. But, you know, it even says in the Word of God that before you cast a stone, you know, make sure that 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 your home is clean. Meaning, make sure that 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 you don't have anything um, that's that that that's hidden in the closet, so to speak. So I just find it really interesting. Um, it's just it's just a daily reminder for all of us that. Don't be so quick to judge because regardless if you believe in God in heaven or not, regardless if you believe in Jesus Christ or not, one day every person will have to face God. And God is the only person that can judge anybody on this planet. So before you cast a stone at somebody, before you start to judge somebody, just remember, <laughs> one day, 
you're going to have to go before the Lord. And like I said, ain't none of us perfect. But just just remember that. Um, and, I, and I learned that early in life. Why? Because people always judge me. <laughs> it's, it's really funny, actually. It used to offend me when I was younger. But then I was like, you know what? Who cares? Who cares what people think? Because like I said, it's normally those individuals that have the most skeletons in their closet. So, you know, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, and one thing I've also learned since being a mama is not everything has got to be so serious. You know, if, 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 I mean, I like my, you know, I like my place clean. I like things to be in order. I'm not OCD and color coordinate and stuff, but I like my place to stay clean and in order. But, you know, there's, there's been several occasions just, you know, because I am a mother and I have a child where Egypt will have some, some, you know, we'll be playing and she'll have a mess on the floor or something. And, you know, instead of me being like, Egypt, 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 pick it up, pick it up right now, pick it up. I just sit back and I just let it sit there. Not because I want her to pick it up. I mean, she, I do want her to pick it up. But you know how sometimes parents will be like, um, you know, well, then it's going to sit there until you pick it up. But you will pick it up. I'm like that with some, you know, with some things. But with other things, I'm like, you know what? Just leave it. We'll get around to it. Because it's just not that serious. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and I'm just giving one example. But, you know, I know some people where everything's got to, they're, they're such control freaks. They have to be in control of every speck of every second. And I just sit back and I think sometimes, wow, what a battle you fight every day. That's just wow. Like, like life is short, people. And, 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 and I'm, I'm just being, I'm just kind of, just being honest. Nobody is guaranteed another second. So the next time you're, you know, something's not going your way or something and you just, you're just like, oh, I got to fix it right now. How